May Day 2011 was uh, once again a celebration of all the ideals and principles that we hold as trade unionists um, and particularly for the Maritime Union of Australia. Our members believe in internationalism fundamentally. We believe in peace. We've always fought um, with those principles in mind. May Day is, is about celebrating the achievements um, that we have made and their significant achievements over the last 130 years basically um, since May Day um, has commenced and this year was no different. We had uh, not only trade unionists come out but community activists and, and that's what it's really about. It's a coming together of those people in our community who fight every day uh, for social justice, who fight every day against oppression and for real democracy, people's democracy, you know. Um, and May Day demonstrated that once again this year. We had a, a, a significant roll-up, it was an improved um, roll-up on last year and we, we are seeing May Day once again um, coming to vogue for um, the people in our community and that's a wonderful thing. It's good to see the numbers returning back to May Day. This year we saw an increased number of wharfies, an increased number of seafarers, an increased number of ferry workers and port workers coming along and taking that proud opportunity, that opportunity once a year to come and march up and down Sydney, to be there and stand out and ensure that workers around the world are doing something on a united basis in their own local city. It was very pleasing to know that the work done by the Maritime Union and other unions within the uh, May Day Committee finally got the message across to workers that if you want to change the world in terms of getting better conditions for your family, a better living standard for your family, you have to get out in the street. International Day of Workers' Struggle and Solidarity, a day where workers across the globe come together and voice their demands for a better world, for a just society, for peace, hope and socialism, and uh, against the attacks that we're seeing uh, coming against workers in every country in the world, neoliberal attacks, assaults on the rights of workers, assaults on the democratic rights of uh, people generally, assaults on people's wages and working conditions, and these are the issues that will come to the fore right around the world today on May Day, where workers come out as one and say we've had enough and we want a better world. I march on May Day this year, as I've done for many years, uh, stand up for workers' rights, uh, stand up in particular for the Maritime Union at the moment, who's uh, in struggle with Patrick's, just went on strike yesterday. Um, and yeah, not only for workers' rights here in Australia, but workers' rights internationally as well. Well, it has significance for me because it, it's that day of the year that workers the world over unite uh, for the same cause of social justice and dignity and respect in the workplace. Workers' Day, International Workers' Day, celebrated all around the world. Uh, it's a pity it's not a public holiday, but it's still it's a good day for workers to come together uh, and bond and remember and recognise the contribution made by other labour uh, entities, trade unions and officials, and rank and file, of course. They call him in the Sydney branch, the MUA, the godfather of May Day. So uh, I'm, I'm proud to be, be marching here on George's 50th anniversary of May Day. Yeah, the 50th of March in Australia is very good. good. Very good to march for the rights of the workers and for the, the national solidarity. Yes. yes, solidarity is very important for the working class. Comrades, today is the 125th anniversary of International Workers' Day, May Day. Since 1886, workers have been coming together, marching together in their millions in their tens of millions across the globe today. People will be marching for their de democratic rights, their democratic rights to organise, their democratic rights to protest, and we will continue to support each other in our struggle. And we will denounce those who continue to insist that we do not have rights to organise, that we don't have rights to self-determination. May Day is the International Day of the Working Class and long may it live. There's been many struggles in this country. There will continue to be many struggles in this country. And one of the biggest struggles that we face is our Indigenous brothers and sisters. So today for May Day we must extend our concern and our solidarity with their struggle in the Northern Territory and across the whole of this country for justice, equality, dignity and respect. <laughs> Comrades, on May Day we celebrate the achievements
that we as workers have made through our collective action, working together in solidarity to achieve a better and fairer society and better and fairer working conditions. This year we celebrated 100 years of International Women's Day. And that International Women's Day had its origins in strike action taken by over 30,000 shirt waist makers in the US. Their struggle and their fight inspired women all over the world to deem that we should have a day once a year where we focus on the particular interests of women and their demands for more equality. And part of that struggle for equality has focused on equal pay and more recently pay equity. We have more in common with workers in other industries than we are led to believe. Um, the fact of the matter is that we, we come together on days like May Day and celebrate our solidarity. Our solidarity is not only on the march itself but in the pub afterwards, coming together, talking about um, all the things that make us working people. May Day was also an important year for the Sydney May Day Committee with our President George Gotsis, long time activist, member of the WWF, life member of the MUA, 50 years of May Day um, in 2011. What a, an important uh, milestone to achieve. 50 years turning up year in, year out, um, he is inherently involved in, in the struggle. George Gotsis tells all of us about the importance of the class struggle. And here he was, yet again, on the 50th year in a row, involved in May Day. George Gotsis continues to lead, he continues to organise, he continues to struggle. Long live George Gotsis. George is a legend. George is a legend of May Day. Sydney Warpy and a, a great ambassador for the May Day course in Sydney and a great struggle for peace and socialism. He is truly a legend. Comrade, we're there all the way with you. Congratulations. 50 years from May Day, another great achievement for George Gotsis. Cheerio, Georgie. He's a Greek godfather. I've known George for many, many years when I was in Melbourne with the Greek Democracy Club. So George, 50 years, fantastic job, Comrade. You really are a working class advocate.